As of now, actually, I think what we're doing with it is uh, Barry's the only one that knows what's different and that things are different. And initially, he doesn't. Well, in Flashpoint, like he, no one else knows that uh, that anything's happened. And then moving forward from that, like Flashpoint will have repercussions on everything throughout the rest of the season. But it, that doesn't necessarily mean we're in Flashpoint for the whole season. It just comes na easy to me for some reason, the Barry aspects of the character. But Flash, um, it's written pretty basic and heroic, a lot of the dialogue. It's just kind of like, you have to stop, and like, you know, kind of general her heroic things. And so it's kind of exploring that and how to finesse it on my own and make it kind of that fun, cocky Flash that I think everybody kind of wants to see, and it's what I want out of the character. So even when they don't really write it, this year especially, I'm really leaning into just kind of like, how can I make him have fun as the Flash? Because, I mean, even for me, it's like if I'm really going through something in my real life and I'm kind of down in the dumps or whatever, at work, I, I, you wouldn't know because I love what I do and I'm like that's when I'm kind of boisterous and always happy and smiling and have a good time and in the same sense I want to explore this year if Barry is like just utterly depressed I still like when he's in the suit want to see him have a really good time and kind of like escape all of that. Here's one of the if our show has any strengths here's one of the strengths of the show the fact that your first question is flashpoint the fact that you know this is going to be it looks like at this point it's going to be a long-running television show and I, if this show has strengths, I would argue that one of the strengths is the fact that, bang, we're doing Flashpoint. You know, there's decades of mythology, and we're not afraid to mine it, get it out there. And listen, all these Sally's fourth won't all be successful, but it, the fact that this is a show that isn't content to sit on its laurels, rest on its laurels, and move forward, I think that's one of the great things. The fact that that's a testament to your question is that, yeah, we're going to do Flashpoint. Then you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do different things. And um, that's... You know, that, that's a way a show can torpedo itself and fall into the, the you know, the dreaded jumping the shark mode. But um, what I like about uh, our show is there's a certain fearlessness to, to that. It's like we've got, like I say, decades of mythology and we're going we're gonna to get that stuff out there. I think the time between the finale of a previous season and the premiere of the new one, I think that's the time when the most rumors tend to circulate um, and people start to talk the most. Um, so I sort of knew a little bit about what they were planning and what they were planning to pitch. Um, so I was sort of expecting um, the surprises that they have in store for the premiere, but actually reading it and actually like actually witnessing the stuff that that they had planned um, was so cool. <laughs> it just like I'm just let's put it this way. I'm really I'm really lucky to have this job. But I, I, this, this part of the, the show's arc is important to, for Cisco specifically because that's where I, this is where everything is changing. You know, I, I think it's at this point that Cisco's starting to realize maybe I am a hero after all. And I think it's with the acceptance of those powers and that responsibility that Cisco starts to bloom into. Well, you'll see. I think he's still a little stubborn at heart, um, and. He, on one hand, is more mature, on another hand, is is a little less mature. Like I think he's very excited about um, having powers, and he loves his job, and um, that may get the best of him at times, and it may work to his benefit. So, um, yeah, it's just it's just finding out. But it's it's fun to play him like this. Yeah, a little cocky. It ended up being a really interesting dynamic between Iris and Cisco, and so I think it'd be cool to see more of that um, and see more of Iris's humor. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's possible, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. I will say whether I'm allowed to or not, but Iris is very much kind of involved in that dynamic. She's, she, she knows Kid Flash and helps and works with him, so it's an interesting dynamic from season one where she was so much in the dark. Um, it's, it'll be cool to see her kind of be a part of that. But my hope and what I could be most excited about is the reporter arc um, and also the Barry and Iris thing. I think we're finally going to see them try and have a relationship and make it work. Um, and hopefully it's a healthy, normal, happy thing. Um, so yeah, I think those, those two things. Because of this new world where Barry's not familiar with all these relationships because the timeline's changed, everyone knows me. I'm part of the world. Only he is not familiar with... Um, and he's not quite sure why we aren't as friends.
friendly as maybe we should be. Um, but they have a slightly clashing heads uh, approach to work, um, mostly because my character seems to be keen to reveal the information before Barry does. So I think for Barry, it's like seeing someone who's as sharp, if not sharper, than him.